I went on a hunt for these little guys because at some point in their growth you can pick them and if they're cooked properly then you can eat them uh, but I'm clearly <laughs> too late in the season you're supposed to pick them when they're they're called fiddleheads because they're all like folded on themselves uh, which is super cute to see and I think I've already shown you some um, in a past video um, and that's actually when they're when you can eat them because at this size when they completely grown and they have kind of unfolded then they they become toxic and so even when they have their like they're at the fiddlehead stage you do have to boil them uh, into water uh, two times uh, just to take off the toxicity of it and the very few I found were like they didn't look healthy at all so I'm not gonna try those <laughs> knowing that if you eat them raw anyway they they're kind of toxic I think you can't digest them very well um, so it's clearly not for me to try on my very first time on on fiddleheads that don't look healthy the early stage is between May and June usually and we are middle of June and I am too late <laughs> I learned about them thanks to a friend and when I learned about it uh, last year it was already too late too and as we didn't have a super weather last week um, I didn't come and I didn't want to film under the rain <laughs> but yeah they grow so fast like so fast you'll see the size of some is just it's just crazy Just look at the size of these guys. <laughs> Come on! <laughs> no kidding, I'm too late to pick them. <laughs> it's just crazy. It feels like being in the jungle when you, when you go around here at this season. So, yeah. No fiddlehead um, testing tonight, nor this year. <laughs> and yeah, but at least I got out and it was, it's a beautiful evening. And I'll be back next year, I guess. Looking for edible wild plants has made me pay even more attention to the details of my surroundings. Many times these past weeks, I've caught myself getting lost in my thoughts, walking without noticing. I would come back home, realizing I couldn't remember one single thing of the path I just walked. And it's exactly in these moments that the smallest things anchor me in the present. When merging completely with nature helps me forget about time, place and worry only to be here. On a moody morning, I gave it another try and went looking for fireweeds. At this period, they haven't bloomed yet and they're perfect for picking.
I learned that they have so many healing properties, from the prevention of prostate issues to anti-inflammatory effects. I keep being fascinated by the power of these fragile and beautiful pieces of earth. It's such a grounding exercise to scout, observe, and pick the plants I'm gonna transform by myself. And I've been wanting to do this for so long. For my first try with fireweeds, I wanted to pick the leaves in order to dry them and be able to make tea out of it. I also tried cooking the stems, which are supposed to be cooked a bit like asparagus. I browned them in butter for 10 minutes, but it probably wasn't enough.
It is super tasty. Really, really like it. Next time I'll probably get some younger shoots. I took like different stages of growth just to try and also regarding the leaves that I'm drying because they have a lot of fiber <clears throat> and this is what I've been chewing for a while. Next time I'll maybe I'll try to peel them because you're supposed to be able to eat them raw also but you can just peel the outer layer so that you only keep the tender part mm, so I'll see but that's a very good first try it really has a yeah really nice taste and I kept also so I most of the leaves are drying downstairs now but I kept like the very young leaves um, from the top of the plant because the young leaves you're supposed to be able to eat them raw like in salad also so yeah I'm gonna try those Is good a bit like spinach kind of I love mother nature it's incredible <laughs> and I didn't want to try too many at once because of course I've never tried it if my belly handle all of that well, then I'll probably pick some more. I've left the leaves dry for four days, which led time to Yuan to come back. I finished the drying in the oven, hoping it didn't take away too many of the properties of the plant. I ate them and I didn't die, so stop it. Mm. No. <laughs> <laughs> it's good, no? Yes, I find. Ça a pas beaucoup de goût là. In English for the record, please. It doesn't have much taste. It does a bit. A bit like the lease. I feel so blessed to live in such a beautiful area. Mm -hmm. 
Knowing that we might move soon makes me realize how many details I feel I've missed and how much of these beautiful mountains I want to enjoy and share with you. It makes me appreciate even more the simple joys of life. Thank you for sharing this journey with us. I'll see you in the next one with hopefully some updates on our housing situation and anyway with lots of Nordic wilderness.